I was working on a video and I realized as I was doing it, I could create a tutorial as a follow-up to a tutorial I did a couple months ago on moving backgrounds and give you some more ideas on how you can do that. Now here, this is just an image that I got from Vecteezy. It's right here. I had already imported it, obviously. Um, and you can see that it's pretty, but it's not doing anything. And then you can see that I did add a little bit of dimension by adding a shadow. But how did I add that shadow? I also have a tutorial on the background remover, but all you do is you select the image, right click, remove background. You do, I believe you do have to have all access pass for this. And then it asks, would you like to proceed? You're going to say yes. I'm not because I already have done that. So I'm going to click cancel. And when you say yes, it's going to remove the image and then it will be in your media folder. Sorry, I had to stop for a second because I, I was thinking in my head at the same time. It's actually going to change it on your timeline. I'll show you that in a moment. And then you just add the image again. But what did I do? I just added the, oh, I called it overlay. This was the removed background. So you can see that it came out like that and it did a really nice job. And then I just went and I put some shadows on it. Just a little slight shadow and it just gave a little bit of a dimension to it. So you can see right there. Then I tried, I said, oh, I wonder if I can um, make it move a little bit. So I did add one of our effects of waving. So if you look here, as I select that element and I go to effects, I had put a wave. Let me move this out of the way so we can see those values. Click on effects, wave, and I just changed it to four, one, and just a slow speed. So it's just moving a little bit and you get wave up here in your effects and components and you go down to wave. And I have a tutorial on that as well. So I can link to all of those in the description below. Then I did a bear. <laughs> I want to get rid of that image. I removed the background the same way I clicked, right click, remove background. And then if it asked me when I wanted to proceed, let me do this. Even though I have it, let me show you here. I clicked yes. It takes a little bit of a moment. Then when it is done, it shows up in your media folder. Then you just, it also changed it here on my canvas. So I'm just going to go back to the original image, drag it underneath, and now it has the background as well as the overlay that I just made. So let me just increase that a little bit. Then what I did is I just added a motion of scale loop. So let me show you how I did that. I'm going to delete the one I had. And all I did is, well, I didn't even show you what that effect looked like. Let me move that. So then I just played around with the overlay and I kind of just made it go in and out. I don't know if I would actually use that, but let me delete that and show you here, whoop. Here is the image. And then I added the overlay. I also put a little bit of a shadow on that. 
so he kind of stood out a little bit from the background. Then what I did is I went to effects and component. Oh, no, I didn't. I went to motion, loop, scale, in and out. And you can change the zoom speed, the zoom um, amount, as well as how many loops. But here we just have them going in and out a little bit. So it's one way that you can just create some motion. I keep grabbing that transition. As you can see, there it is with the flat image. And then with the um, overlay that I made for, by removing the background. The other thing that you could have some fun with is I just have a colored rectangle. I just went up here and I'm got a rectangle, I expanded it, and then I just changed the color. That one was there, so I took that. That's what this is, the background right here. Then I just added a shape, a 3D shape in our studio. I grabbed that one. We have a number of them here and you could really do it with any of those or you can even do it with one of these shapes up here. You can do it with text, you can do it with rectangle, circle, all of those. I grabbed the ripples because I thought that that would be kind of fun. Watch what happens. What I did here is I also put a wave on that and an overlay. So let me show you what that is. I am going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go back to my studio. I'm going to dip the ripples, bring it down. And now you're going to see it's not going to look so good. I'm going to get rid of that extra rectangle I showed you. First, what I did is I just expanded it and then I even just drew out the edges just so it filled the whole thing. But the color isn't really looking so good. I did put a shadow on it. I think it was one and one. But it's not really mel melding into the background. So what I did for this is I clicked on the 3D asset that I brought down, Effects and Components. I went down to color fill, dragged that to my image, and then what I did is, and again, let's just move this over. I'm going to click on this again, go to effects, overlay. Then what I did is I changed the color by using the color picker. You can go here too, but if you ever don't have the colors here, you can just use the color picker. And now it changed the color of the 3D image that I brought in. Now when I play this, nothing's happening. It's static. And you can leave it like that as well. But if you wanted to, I put a little bit of a wave on it. And it has just a little bit of emotion. I'm not sure I love it. But it is something that you can play around with. I didn't use a large value for that. I just put on, let's look at what I did, um, a width of 24 and 4. So let's see. I'm going to go to my image, go to effects and components, go down, drag my wave. What was that? 10, I think is what it was, 4, and 4, I didn't get 10 up there, but we'll see what that looks like, that, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not liking that one, I'll have to look back and see what I had as values, maybe I have to leave that higher. 
So you can just play around with that a little bit. That doesn't look too bad. You can see the one that I made didn't have as much movement. It was more subtle. But those are different ways that you can create some backgrounds that have some movement if you want to choose to do that. And I will link to the other one that I use, that I posted a couple months ago. And I hope that gives you some ideas on what you can do. Have fun.